Hey guys, welcome to The Vibe on CGTN. I'm Julian Wagen. And I'm Sun Sichi. We're here to bring you the 8th edition of Wujin Theatre Festival. Today, we're taking you on a theatrical journey of the Wooten Theater Festival by going to the stage and behind the scenes. Julian, it is absolutely wonderful to see Wooten Theater Festival coming back to life so early in the post-pandemic era here in China in this historic water town. Since Lao Tzu once said, nothing is softer, more flexible than water, yet nothing can resist it. Such is the power that water holds over the Wujin Theater Festival and the town of Wujin. Indeed, that is beautifully said. And as a matter of fact, water is the essence of life in this gorgeous ancient community that's been nourished by the Grand Canal and the sine qua non for drama and theater. And this water theater here serves both as a backdrop and inspiration for Ding Ting's new play, Reflection. This year, many young artists like him are go taking over the mantle from the veterans. They are also leading the way for Chinese theater of today and mapping out the blueprints for tomorrow. And with the theme burgeoning, this year's Wujin Theater Festival is all about breakthroughs and new directions. It's also time to reflect, taking in the charm and the strength of water, as Shelley explains in this story. A reflection of the soul at the water theater in Wuzhen. Director Ding Yiteng is bringing his reimagination of Oscar Wilde's classic novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, by looking deep into human nature. Entitled Reflection, the story follows a kind-hearted fisherman who has been bullied by the village thug and ignored by the other villagers. In a stroke of fate, the fisherman returns to his youth and regains his strength. The play culminates with the fisherman diving into the water and dying with his reflection. I was exploring like who I am, and now here in Wujin, finally I find myself. This play is trying to tell you that to check out and then to know yourself through the play and then through the uh, your lifetime. Reflection first premiered on the television reality show Theater for Living. It came as the pandemic halted last year's Wuzhen Theater Festival. Seven Chinese actors and directors spent two months living together and creating new works in the eastern Chinese town. Viewers seem to enjoy the stories behind the scenes, as well as the artist's sincerity, passion, and love of stage. Because of the, the reality show, the, the, the more people know in the theater and they're coming to Wujin to, to see different plays. They're enjoying this, these plays and our performance. And I think this is the fantastic moment how we promote our theater. If Ding represents a group that expresses ideas boldly and freely, then actor-director Liu Tianqi belongs to one that tends to be more introvert. Liu's play, Brazil, a theater for living product, centers around the much-discussed question, can robots develop human emotions? The play is largely focused on the daily conversations between the protagonist, Kay, who's been a vegetable for years, and the home service robot who takes care of him. Liu chose to use a puppet to convey the protagonist's inner voice. I learned communication between people would have lies or hiding truth from each other, which is quite normal. But when you communicate through puppets, you tend to let your guard down and you would have established trust between each other because puppets basically are lifeless. There is no such thing as wrong expressions in the puppet world, and you would be more engaged in a genuine conversation. And that's what I learned from the show. And when we were making the play about Brazil, I thought of use of puppetry, and it fits perfectly in the show. Both Ding and Liu have emerged from the Young Artist Competition at the Wuzhen Theater Festival, and now they have grown into a force to be reckoned with in China's vibrant theater scene. I think. Their sensitivities as artists are quite different. 
I think they could do a hell of a lot together because their talents are different, but they can work, they can, they can cohere together and become something special. I think Liu Tianqi uh, thinks very deeply about life, and Ding Yitan thinks very deeply about theater. Not to say he doesn't think deeply about life, but it's, it, it seems to be more of a focus. Uh, and so these two things together, quite a good recipe for great, great work. Ding says there's a constant stream of new faces and talent arriving on the scene. So he's looking to make the transition from acting to directing, to create more space for burgeoning actors. I, I need to have the, like the more time and more energy for the, 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 the new generation, for the new actors, because they're, they're pretty good. Like They're graduate, graduated from their um, university and they need more uh, state and more chance to show themselves. So now I'm helping them. Even though the pandemic halted live performances, it gave artists more time to focus on their work and productions. The show must go on, and thanks to social media platform, it can. Artists can have their voices heard by a wider audience. That part of the festival has always uh, garnered a lot of attention. Uh, and many of the winners or people who have excelled in that competition also have come into their own as, as artists. And my, my master, Eugenio Barba, told me that the, um, the future is in China. The theater future is in China. He told me like four or five years ago, and I really believe that we have the hope, we have the future here in China if we are, if we are keeping doing this.